Hi YouTube, it's Roberta. And how is everybody doing out there this morning? Um, I have a little bone to pick. Today is Thursday, but I actually had a bone to pick. Comcast, guys, Xfinity, AKA whatever the hell you wanna call it, has pissed me off, literally. Like, oh, we gonna get into this. I'm back. So, for all of you that know me, I work in call centers for a minute. Matter of fact, let me pause this and put my mount up at this light. Okay, so, I'm back. I talked to Comcast yesterday, and I told Comcast that I need for them to take their equipment back. Like, I was about to be done with Comcast. Gave them the TV equipment, all the boxes, all the remote controls or whatever. I even gave them a pair of my rechargeable batteries. So I was a little mad about that. I might have to, when I go up there today, I'm going to cuss their ass out. So she tells me, I guess, to keep me as a member where we can give you an extension, blah, blah, blah. And we can just bump you down to internet service. I said, oh, okay, that's fine. How much is your internet? They said the internet for Comcast is only $54.99. I'm like, okay, cool. I can go with that. So, she goes, but you still have to pay your pass through balance. And I said, okay, well, well how much is that? It's $200. So, that basically means they're paying for me for the month service of my having um, the triple play services that I was not satisfied with. So, they're going to still... Um, make me own up to having to pay that which is fine I'll go ahead and pay that so I'm like okay I'll pay that with you guys but after that I want to see my bill at this you know $55 or whatever $54.99 service I want to see it that way she goes okay yeah no problem if your service is not back on by tonight um, from yesterday if it's not on by tonight from that day it'll be on in the morning I said okay that's fine is this going to be notated to my account she goes uh, yes it's going to be notated to your account okay thank you I walk out the girl's name was Jasmine I walk out and you know pretty little girl walk out come do what I got to do go on about my rest of my day had a lot of running around that I had to do yesterday so forth so forth so, um, so, um, oh, never mind. So, anyway, I, um, let me make this quick because I got to get back, get in here to work. So, anyway, I, um, basically tell Comcast, well, you know, I leave the place and get in my car and go. Wake up this morning, now my services is not still on, so I'm trying to understand. So I go to my little Xfinity app that I have, and um, as I get, I'm get, i going into the app, I'm seeing I have to go through this whole activation process, and I'm like, why am I doing that? So then I'm like, okay, what's the problem here? Let me, I gotta get into work, because I really am kind of on the late side. Hold on one second. Yeah, I'm late today, but... It doesn't matter how I many it's 805 they give me. But I'm gonna be on the phones today, so she says she wanted to switch that up a little bit. But um yeah, so anyway with Comcast, I will come back and tell y'all about that. And I'm sorry to have to interrupt it like this, but I don't wanna go into work going and being mad about Comcast. So I'm gonna um, you know continue that story very simple today with my outfit um i hope they don't think i'm wearing jeans they're jeggings actually but um yeah let me get into the building and get up in here real quick fast i ain't do too much with my hair today because i really don't care today <laughs> Oh, <laughs> hey you guys 
How's everybody doing today? Hey YouTube. How are y'all out there? Um, I wanted to come back and do a continuation to what I was talking about earlier today. Let me mute my TV. Yeah, so basically Comcast is trying to play me out. And I don't appreciate that because honestly, I... I am very loyal to whatever company that I get involved with. If it's my cell phone, if it's my cable TV, whatever the case may be, I try to be loyal to that particular company. So the fact that they trying to get over on me, it really has me kind of tripping a little bit. Just like how I feel about friends and how friends should be loyal or whatever, blah, 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 the case may be. I, I'm just really a stickler on people being loyal to, you know, they're supposed to be loyal to. So, let me, but matter of fact, I gotta go get my, gotta get my shoes. And my daughter. My daughter be stealing my shoes. I gotta get something out the car. Oh, my keys. So, yeah, hey, you guys, I'm back. Um, I was having some technical difficulties with trying to find my selfie stick because I didn't feel like having to hold the camera. But, anyway, so back to Comcast. So, they pretty much told me that they were going to, um you know, turn my services on for my internet because they said the internet again, like I said before, that it was fifty fifty four ninety nine or whatever for the service. So I guess then I called them this morning and they say, um, well, you called today and talked to a representative, blah, 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 blah. I said, ma'am, what are you talking about? I talked to you this morning. It's 7 o'clock, mind you, that I'm calling these people. And I'm like, what do you keep saying? I talked to somebody prior to our conversation. I didn't talk to anybody. So I'm getting annoyed now because um, she keeps saying that I talked to someone prior to talking to her. I was like, like ma'am, listen to what I'm saying to you. I'm like, ma'am, I went to Comcast yesterday at around 5 o'clock, well, 6 o'clock, I went there. Returned my TV equipment, and then she offered me the deal that they would reactivate re my internet service, and you know, um, you know, go with the, me having internet, but I still had to pay the previous balance of me having service. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. Bless you, boo-boo. Thank you. So I said, that's fine. Um, whatever. Now the lady talking about son. Oh no, Miss Ghani, your, um, your internet services cannot be resubmitted or reactivated because you didn't, you weren't found eligible for um, an extended connected service. I'm really annoyed now because that's not what was said to me. That's not what was, you know, informed of me. So I'm looking stupid now at this. Boy, you all in my dad on vlog. So I'm looking stupid now because I done told my kids, oh, the internet will be back on. Just give it a day. They really pissed me off. And like, even though some of the TVs in the house are able to get, like, um, digital channels or whatever the case may be. Because normally, me, honestly, ever since I've become a YouTuber, I think I watch all YouTube more so than I watch anything on regular TV. I mean, you know, I watch my other vloggers out there. I see what they doing and what they talking about. So, I really don't watch cable. So, I'm going to get me a nice little fire stick and, you know, do what I got to do. I got a Roku already. And then I'm just going to turn on some internet service. So, I mean, drop your comments below if y'all know of any good other 
internet service providers because I, I was um, I was going through this other one through Straight Talk, I think. No, Clear. Clear Wire. I think that's what it was. But um, they had switched services or something like that. So, no, they're no longer on network to provide internet service. So, I was going to go to Verizon Fios and get their internet but I don't know, you know, what deals that they've been, you know, advertising with that. So anyway, um, yeah, Comcast is really on my it list, shit list, because they've really irritated me. Like, so now, you know, we got to just basically be without internet for a while. Um, you know, we just use our phones and stuff, but... You know, it, it's just like, gosh, goddamn, you know, you just basically put me in a bind, um, at least, you know, until we get caught back up on our bills, because a girl, is, a sister is stressing right now, and, you know, starting this new job or whatever, mm -hmm. it is a, um amazing job, you know, I like it, um, I'm just having really started on the phones yet but i mean the, the job is really nice it's laid back it's very comfortable it's very nice you know so i'm trying to just get myself together i mean i'm thinking we're gonna probably depart ways between me and my mom like around september october which gives us enough time to find us a place so that we can get approved for it and so forth and so forth so um yeah, we're going to just see how this goes. This is going to be another one um, of our journey. And I'm going to start doing seasons. So, basically, until I get to vlog number 200, it is going to be... Once it hits vlog 200, then that's when I'm going to go back into another season 2 of um, Bronx Woman 77's channel. So, y'all like, comment, and subscribe on this video. It's not going to be too long today because... Like I said, I really didn't do too much. I went to work. Now I'm tired. I'm trying to relax. But I do have to go and develop some pictures for my cubicle. Because a lot of people at my job are wanting to see what my kids look like. Since I talk about them at work all the time. So I'm going to take some of these pictures that I do have in my phone. Um, I'm going to even take out some that I have from Jamaica. And I'm going to um, transfer some of those over into photos. So that I can have nice pictures up on my wall. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Make my cubicle look all professional and stuff. But I will show it to y'all once I do get my cubicle together at work. I will give y'all a nice little tour of that. Where I will be for eight hours of my day. <laughs> so anyways, um, I hope y'all are having all a blessed day on this lovely Thursday. And I hope you are all, um, you know, out there making something um, positive happened today. It's Thursday. So, yes, today's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to do a vlog because I, I knew I had the weekend coming up. So, I'll probably post a couple vlogs for the weekend. But I have been kind of slow with them because I've been tired. So, you know, just getting myself back some energy. Like, I really don't know why I'm so tired, but um, yeah, I've been really tired. So I wanna get that kind of checked out just a little bit, but you know. And so, oh, the situation though, between me and my friend, you know, I wish I could say his name, but right now I'm gonna keep it on the hush until I know exactly where I stand in this relationship, but like I said last on a couple of vlogs ago, he did come over for the weekend and I thought that he was very apologetic on, you know, how he treated me, but apparently, you know, I guess he feels cutting people off is justifiable and he feels that, you know, falling off the face of the earth and not communicating because he got something going on and so much more precedence than anybody else's problems. So 
when all I'm asking you to do is communicate with me and you feel like, oh, I'm putting a burden on you because I'm asking for communication, then that's when we have a problem. I mean, to me, honestly, I feel like what builds a relationship and keeps a relationship going in my eyes, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. But in my eyes, I feel like showing someone the communication, um, the time, and affection whether it's sexually, emotionally, whatever, that those are the three key things that build a relationship. Communication, affection, sexually and physically, and trust. And I mean, if you don't have that stuff, like it just kind of does put a tear on the relationship. So the fact that me and him are supposedly moving forward as adults into a relationship, I just feel like, dude, what you doing like I feel like I'm wasting my time with him because he can't even give me simple communication so um Monday I think it was yeah Monday I talked to him and it was on some first thing you come to me when I ring you up is I'm busy um oh no you you start explaining to me why it was such a busy day but that wasn't what I asked you about then you start saying, yeah, it's been very busy. So when I asked you a joke, subliminally, I was like, nigga, are you married? He wanted to catch an attitude. Oh, you, well, all right, I'm going to let you go. Only reason why I ask that is because men that are married treat the other woman or the mistress as some weakened side piece. I'm not that. So, you know... What's what's going on? So I'm asking the questions, and now you trying to, uh, uh, like you upset with me. Sometimes I'm gonna let you go. Like that was that was kind of cold cold with it. So, girl, ladies and gentlemen out there, I don't know where this is gonna go. I understand you gotta go through the storms and the trenches to have a solid bond with your partner. But these are the reasons why Roberta is single. Because I don't have time for bullshit. And when I'm asking you for the simple things, simple. I'm not asking you for money because I got my own. I'm not asking you for clothes and all those things. Why? Because I can go buy my own. I'm very independent when it comes to my coins. But when I'm asking you for conversation, you know, communication, when I'm asking you for trust, when I'm asking you for love and affection, and you're not giving that, we have a problem. Red flag. <laughs> we have a problem. So, you know, I'm just now trying to really, again, back at the reevaluating of the situation because I don't know where it's going, guys. I, I just don't know. So, you know, I could tell you, I really don't know. So, with that being said, thank y'all for listening to me and letting me vent on this lovely Thursday. Because today was a pretty day today. And like I said, I'm going to Walmart, I believe. I'm going to probably do a vlog up in there. So, I may pick the camera back up once I get into Walmart. But I'm going to charge my phone up just a little bit. And then I'll probably go. So... See you soon.